Hey everybody, welcome back to Hocus-Pocus.com. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Gecko Pro from Jim Rosenbaum. All right, the Gecko Pro, this is the third manifestation of this release. The original Gecko came out a while ago. It was an independent release from Jim Rosenbaum, and it did really well. It did really well, and then later on, uh, Illusionist picked it up, and Illusionist released the Gecko Extreme. What they did was they added a couple of little extras, and with Illusionist, it was a top seller. It, I think it sold out in less than two weeks. And now, uh, Murphy's Magic has picked it up, and what they've done is they've combined the original Gecko with the Gecko Extreme, and now you get everything together in one box at one price, and this is the Gecko Pro. Now what the Gecko is, is it's a vanishing device. It's a vanishing device, very similar to the Raven. So if you already have the Raven or you're familiar with that, uh, this borrows a lot from its bigger brother. But the Raven is a little limited by what objects it can attract. Huh? And the Gecko doesn't have those same limitations. And we'll get into all of that a little bit later. All right, so you order it, it comes to you in the mail, you get it, you open up the box, what are you going to get? Uh, you're gonna get the Gecko original, okay? And the Gecko Extreme together. You're gonna get all the extra materials that come along with that. There's a belt clip holster that goes onto your belt so you can attach your Gecko right to your belt clip so it stays right in place. So you can always find it when you wanna go grab it. You're gonna get the download code to the video. The video is roughly 56 minutes long. You'll get an armband so you can attach your Gecko anchor to your opposite arm just in case you don't have a belt or belt loop. You're gonna get all the magiciness that you need to pull this off. And then if you've ever purchased the Raven before, you know the Raven comes with a rubber ring brake stop for your jacket, uh, you'll get that as well. And I believe that's pretty much everything. All right, so how's the video? Uh, Andy Amix, who's one of the creators, he's half the design team, he does all of the explanations for the video. And the video's got lots of great angles. It's shot in HD, it's well mic'd, uh, there's no background music. As far as what he's gonna teach you, he's gonna go over what's in the box. He'll talk about setting up your rig, and then he'll go through some of the vanishes. He'll do a single coin vanish, he'll do a shell coin vanish, he'll do a color changing dice, uh, and, and I think as objects get larger and, and larger than a, than a die, they become more three-dimensional. I think your angles will become more visible, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. He does a bill exchange and a coin exchange, and then he covers a little bit of the Gecko Extreme, which is more for uh, swapping items out. So you can swap two different sugar packets, one for one, or change a red card into a blue card, or change a bent bottle cap into a flat bottle cap. As far as it being well made, it's extremely well made. Uh, and I would say, again, compare it to the Raven, like if you've ever purchased that before, similar materials, I think some of the uh, clips and things are even actually a little bit more sturdier. So I was really pleasantly surprised Price with the quality of everything, and you certainly do get a lot in your box. If you're gonna talk about setup and reset, again, I would go back to the Raven. <laughs> Their setup is gonna be very similar to the Raven, uh, unless you use some of the other things that come in your box, like the belt clip or the armband. But if you've ever used the little gasket ring stop for your Raven, you're, you're already in, you're, you know what that's all about. Uh, also with setup, I'm gonna say there's always clothing restrictions, always, this is not a jeans and t-shirt vanish. If you watch the trailer, you see that they wear a hoodie and they, they use a hoodie through the entire explanation. They always talk about wearing a hoodie. Uh, and if a hoodie's not your thing, then you're gonna be wearing a dinner jacket. Anything from a hoodie on up, dinner jacket, parka, <laughs> anything like that, you're gonna need something like that. There's definitely clothing restrictions. Angles wise, I'm gonna say it again, it's gonna be the same angles as a Raven. If you've ever seen the very first David Blaine uh, Street Magic special, uh, David makes a coin vanish for a little kid and he uses a Raven. Look at David's body posturing. Look at how he's holding everything. That is your angle. That is, your, that is how you should be presenting a trick like this, okay? You're always gonna have your spectator kind of looking down at the object, having a straight on shot. It's possible, but you're gonna have to turn your body, angle your body kind of away, make your vanish happen fast, and then turn back. There's a lot of things to consider. This isn't one of those tricks that's gonna work right out of the box, and you're gonna be vanishing, you know, like milk bottles tomorrow. A lot of the effects you see in the trailer probably took some of those people weeks to practice, weeks to practice with achy hands, achy fingers, uh, and tons of looking in the mirror and making sure that there was no flashing. Think about it like when you were practicing the classic pass, right? 
If you've ever seen people do the classic pass and they do it poorly, it stands out like a sore thumb. And you immediately see it, especially as a magician. You're like, ah, there's a classic pass. You know, he's trying to do the classic pass. But if you've ever seen a magician do a trick and when you backtrack, you think, ah, oh, he did a classic pass and I didn't even see it. Those are the people that can do a trick and pull it off because they, they have spent weeks, if not months, practicing something like that. To make a trick invisible in front of your spectator with a direct line of sight is gonna take a lot of practice. And anyone who tells you different is fooling themselves. Magic takes practice. Not everything works right out of the box. I would definitely say the Raven, the Gecko Extreme, they are two of those types of things. Using a pull device takes practice to where it can happen quickly, invisibly, right in front of your spectator, it's gonna take practice. And we're talking about angles. We're talking about angles, so let's keep talking about angles. I think you need to decide what you wanna use the Gecko Pro for, all right? If you wanna vanish small, lightweight objects and you don't need them to be attractive, then I think this is gonna work for you. I think if you wanna vanish the larger objects like you see in the trailer, like the deck of cards, or the, I think it was a box of gum, or the water bottle, those are things that you will not only have to practice, but you will also have to have a very forgiving spectator for. In other words, a lot of those are gonna be camera tricks that you're gonna do on YouTube. So if you wanna be a YouTube star and vanish like a full-size glass Coke bottle, this is fine, but you're gonna be doing it for the camera and you're gonna pick your best shot. But if you just wanna walk up to a random stranger and say, hand me any coin out of your pocket, and they hand you quarter, nickel, dime, penny, doesn't matter, and you visibly make it vanish and show both hands clean, that is what I think this trick is best for. So the good things I can say about this, I think it's a great vanishing device for small lightweight objects, especially if you don't need to later retrieve them. I think retrieving them later is also a little bit difficult. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting all four US coins in my front pockets. I have two in my left and two in my right, and I know which pocket has which coins. And then I borrow any US coin from a spectator, any one at all, vanish it completely, show both hands empty, and then show my single hand completely empty, go into my pocket and retrieve the coin that I vanished, but now it's my coin, and I hand it back to them and tell them that it's their coin. And then later, off camera, I go and retrieve the coin that vanished, and then I'm reset again. If I were gonna say anything bad about this, I would say, you know what, there's clothing restrictions, obviously, and some of you don't like that. Uh, I live in Texas, and so it's always hot here. I I'm never gonna wear a hoodie. There's obviously angle restrictions, on it as well. So there's clothing restrictions, there's angle restrictions, and you know, you're know you probably not gonna pull off some of the tricks that you see in the trailer. All right, so right now this is $66 from hocus-pocus.com, 66 bucks. So like I said, read some other reviews, talk to some people maybe who own it. There's lots of videos on YouTube of people performing this in a real world environment with no camera edits at all, and you can watch their performances as well. Make the best choice, spend your money wisely, keep shopping around here at Hocus Pocus. We want to answer your questions if you've got them. We wanna be your number one magic supplier on the internet, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.